Hello friends, this is Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. Welcome to my channel. How you doing today? I hope you're doing well. I'm working on my December daily for today, December 8th, the 8th day. So welcome to my channel if I didn't already say that. And what I'm doing is, uh, I already started on December 8th, so I thought I'd better turn on the camera before I get through the whole thing because I was just kind of figuring it out. And so I uh, am using for December 8th this you know, it's a, this page is a coffee dye paper, so I did, you know, here's the 7th, so the 8th is on the other side. And uh, I have this ledger paper that I copied from a ledger that I have, and I had it sitting here. And I wanted to just see what it looked like as a background, so I glued it down here. So your, your December Daily or any junk journal that you like to use uh, as whatever you use it for, a glue book or journal or a scrapbook or a junk journal or whatever you use it for all of the above um, is a perfect place to experiment so I go, went ahead and glued down this uh, I cut it to fit I had to trim it a little bit off the bottom here but there was no words down there and it's pretty cool this is a ledger from 19 you know a book it was a book ledger from 1966 and there's a list of something here that the previous owner made in the ledger I copied it, printed out, and it has the natural uh, distressing on there. I didn't distress it any further, and I glued down this piece of quick card that I cut out. And, you know, I'm recycling my Christmas cards, and it was a pretty little. It says believe, and a pretty little Christmas uh, card that uh, had some glittery uh, believe on there. And I put a bow right here. And uh, then I made it, I uh, glued it down on three sides, and it's actually a tuck spot here, too, if I want. Uh, just in case I want a tuck spot. So, now I'm at a point where I've got one more Christmas journal that I'm working on, and I'll be done with uh, making Christmas journals for this year. So I'm kind of like at a point where I need to start putting things away and uh, you know whatever I'm using in that journal I can put in that journal but everything else is going to be put away for next year so I want to use up some of the bits and pieces like you know this year and use them in in here possibly so I've got uh, that piece I used there I've got this little Santa in a frame here I'm gonna put him down next so this is just a little piece from my from a digital kit I think this one was from Shabby Dabby Doodah that I used so um, I hope you're you know doing your December daily along with me or just you know if you're not doing a December daily maybe you're just doing your regular junk journal in uh, December or or maybe you're just watching and getting ideas and thinking about doing one you know just a junk journal or a uh, December daily so you can get some ideas and you know I'm just using mine at however I want if I want to glue if I want to write if I want to add some pictures later during um, when we get closer to Christmas, you know, I can do that. Uh, so, you know, it's whatever you want it to be, pretty much. You know, it doesn't have to be anything perfect or fancy. You don't have to follow any rules. So, this is Santa from that kit, and this frame is from, I've talked about my 2006. Uh, scrapbook kit, kit that I had in my dining room and and I, it was a Christmas kit and so I've been trying to use some pieces from that they're you know not kind of they're not the kind of thing I use now like you wouldn't find this in a store now they just don't make them like this now so I haven't felt comfortable enough to put them in any of my journals that I sell so I'm kind of using that stuff in my own personal journal. And isn't that cute? <laughs> so that's two things. Well, I want two, three pieces. And I put a bow, put an island and a bow on here. So that's what I've got so far. And I'm finding that, at, you know, and if you do junk journals, you know if you work in them, especially if you do glue books, you, you know probably already know the more you put on a page the cooler it looks it just gets better and better right so um, yesterday I was at Salvation Army and I found this game it's so cool uh, it was amongst the toys on the shelf uh, above the you know how they put a little shelf they have a shelf above the 
kids above some of the clothes racks. And uh, this was under this box. I kind of saw this at the, uh, let's see, I'll show you. I saw a box. I couldn't really, I didn't really see what it said at first. I just saw this box. And I was like, what is that? That looks like a game. It looks like an old game. I mean, you can tell just from that, it looks like an old game, right? I was kind of hoping it was a bingo game. But it's this game right here. It's called What's My Number? Solitaire. So I took it over. I picked it up and I took it over because I couldn't tell. I saw this on the cover. It was a little boy with his mother watching, playing the little solitaire game. And I saw these little cards on here. I was like, well, what is that? That kind of looks interesting. So I took it over into another part of the store where I could set it down and open it up. It had two tiny pieces of tape on here so I was able to get it open and I opened it up okay I've already taken everything out of the box but in the box was uh, the board that you saw there on the cover so here's what the board looks like and I already I was looking at it today kind of trying to decide what am I going to do with this and so I looked at the three pieces of the board here first of all and it's pretty cool because it has all these little, look at this, little numbers. And so I cut, I, you know, I debated it on whether I wanted to cut it up or not. It's from 1970. It has a date of 1970 on here. So I was able to pretty, this is pretty, really thick cardboard. But I was able to cut these out very nicely. So uh, I feel like I could use these in my journal. So I'm going to cut these out. So um, I have these three pieces of the the board to cut out pieces. I'm trying to see uh, if there's any pieces already cut out. Yeah, here's one. I totally cut out this one uh, from the, one of the you know one of the game boards there. And you can see I cut the corners and everything out with the scissors. I this is too thick. I didn't even try my corner rounder on here because it won't punch that thick of a. If this is really hard, I mean maybe they made cardboard. Because it's it doesn't it's not like super thick but it's really hard and maybe they made cardboard uh, different back in the 1970s but <laughs> it's so hard you would there's no way my corner rounder would do that so I did do it with my scissors and it came out really neat really nice so little journaling card little whatever uh, for my journals I can cut all those pieces out but the thing I liked best and there wasn't that many of them but it was only 99 cents. So I figured, why not? And I got all these little <laughs> cards. They're so cute. Here's another one I cut out of the game board. A blue one. But these are the cards. Okay, here's another one I cut out. I cut out one from each of the game, those three pieces of the game board to see what they look like. There's a little, it looks like a little uh, domino. Isn't that cute? So that one. But these are the cards. And they have uh, coins on them, like one three and then some of them have numbers on them so it's like perfect for December daily maybe they have some numbers I could use this one has a clock and just just cute little game cards right I, I really like the ones with numbers but I like all of them because they're so tiny and small I can do I can make little tags out of these or whatever you know glue them down make pockets and tuck spots and or use them in layering or clusters or whatever. This is all there is, but for 99 cents, I figured that was worth it to have all these little cards and the game board to cut out all those pieces. So that was definitely, in my book, worth 99 cents. <laughs> so I was really super excited, and I went through and found a number 8 for today. So that's going to be my number for day, for day 8. And I've got my glitter pens here too. Let's write today in red. I used green the last couple of days. So today is December 8th. I'm going to write it uh, right up here. I think I'll write, uh, I've been writing, I been, went back and tried to write the day too, like what day of the week it is. So when I look back on this journal, I can say, oh, that was a Sunday. So Sunday, and write Sunday up here. Sunday, uh, I think I'll write 12 on this one. Sometimes I write December out and sometimes I write 12. Whatever mood I'm in, that's what I do. So today is a 12 mood. <laughs> 12, 8, 19 right there. Sunday, 12, 8, 19. 
Okay, we got our date. And then I'm going to think about this piece here, which I already said maybe right here. I just gotta watch my my margin here where I'm going to be sewing this in. So I thought maybe something like this. You know, it's not it's it's just what I want to do. It's just pieces I want to use and I want to have that number eight there. I had this scrap paper over there. What am I going to do with it? But, you know, I don't want to have to save that little piece for next year. <laughs> and I don't want to throw it in the trash. So let's, let, let's use it right now, right? So a uh, little bit of art glitter glue here. And I know I'm cover, covering up my ledger paper, but uh, I also am trying to learn how to I'm trying to not learn but uh, just do better with layering because I I don't like to cover up things and uh, I was talking to my friend Laura about that a little bit she mentioned it and <laughs> I do have trouble covering up things like even double-sided scrapbook paper it's like oh but the other side is so pretty I hate to glue it down and then you can't see the other side but I am making myself do that use double-sided scrap paper book paper and glue it down and pick a side you know pick a side and glue one side down or whatever sew it down whatever I'm doing to it so uh, now I'm trying to do better with layering as far as not being afraid to cover things up because it can really turn out beautiful if you're not I mean it turns out beautiful either way because I'm going to make it pleasing to the eye whatever I do but if I could layer more, that would probably be really cool. I just have to uh, make myself do it. So this is my idea of layering right here. I know some people that are really experienced in layer layering, just layer, layer, layer. But this is my uh, practice of layering here. I have two layers there, and I have these are layered. <laughs> and we need to do some more on here, maybe. This looks pretty right here, so I could stop right there, but I need to use up some stickers. I have some little pieces here. Uh, what else can I put on here that I need to use up? I have Christmas trees I need to use up. Of course, this is too big. This I need to use somewhere. A Christmas tree from that 2005 kit. Uh, I have a star I need to use somewhere. I think that's too big for this page. I have a smaller star I need to use somewhere. Right, okay. Let's put this Christmas tree here. I kind of actually like that right there. Let's go. Let's just see how many pieces we can fit on this page and help me with my uh, layering issues here. <laughs> I just like everything. I don't know clean and uh, orderly I guess and so it's hard for me to just put things on top of other things so I like to see everything I put down you know what I mean it's kind of uh, so for me layering is a little bit hard I've got some mittens here cute little mittens to use I think I might save those for another page though I don't really think they go on that page I have a Santa hat here. I don't know what he was for, but uh, he can go somewhere. I like that star right here, though. I think I might put that star right here. Yeah, let's do that. Put the star down. Use up the star. And cleaning up my desk <laughs> or my table here. Okay. Now what else? I have some little hearts I could use. Uh, little pink hearts I could put around. In the interest of cleaning off my desk, I'm just going to glue it down, pick it up off my desk, and put it away in my December daily. So another heart. And just fill up this space. I'm going to put him right here. 
right on the card, the eight number eight card. Okay, what else do I have here? I showed you everything except for let's see, I think I showed you everything. I have another I have this, but it's too big for this page. And I have another Christmas tree, which could we use this on this page too? Another Christmas tree? We could. Put it right there, it'll fit. Or we could put it up here. I think I kind of like it over here. Ooh, yeah, right there. Right beside Santa. Yeah, I like that. Laura, are you proud of me? <laughs> I know, she's much better at layering than me, I'm sure. I am sure. Okay. Right up here next to Santa. Pretty cute, but i got to watch where I'm going to be sewing this in so it doesn't get in the way. So I moved that over. Okay, that looks pretty cute, actually. Lots of stuff on there. I have snowflakes to use up. So I'm almost uh, one more, one or two more pages, and I'll have this 2005 these 2005 items used up. All these little pretty little snowflakes are from that. And this one I have to punch out the little scent. This one too. They have little things you punch out here. Little diamonds. You punch these out and you have your pretty snowflake. So that will be for a different page because they won't. Oh my. I might need some more glue on that one. Coming up. Okay, make sure everything's glued down here. Yeah, that's going to be for another page. The snowflakes, the mittens, the Santa hat, and the star and the gift and the big Christmas tree. That is not going to have to go on another page. Okay, what else? Anything else we want to put in here? I want to uh, try something else. One more thing, one more layer, so to speak, that I got out here. And I also got out this other... I don't want to cover up the eight. I don't want to cover up my date. How about if we put this right here? I think I'm going to do it. It's a, uh, or I could do that side. No, that has white on it. It doesn't show up as much. Okay, let's put this as a, in, in the interest of layering. Let's uh, put this snowflake on. These are the punch out. I have a snowflake punch that I got a Tuesday morning this past year when they had pun paper punches at one point and I got a snowflake punch. Where do I want this? I said here, but do I want it there? I want to make sure where I want it. I kind of want it over here now. Okay, yeah, I want it there. <laughs> okay. Pretty cool. Okay, uh, now the other thing I wanted to try was some stamping. I haven't done any stamping in here, and I got these new, uh, you know, stamps at Tuesday morning. Where's my? Here's my little snow globe. So I'm not doing this in any kind of organized fashion. This one's missing too. Here it is. I'm not doing this in any kind of organized fashion, like I don't have my my acrylic block out here to attach these to, so I'm just kind of doing it the lazy way, if I do it. Let's put something right here, a little stamp of some kind. Maybe the snow globe. I don't know if I've used this yet, so let's try it out. It's so cute. I've got my coffee, archival ink coffee dye here is what I'm using on these. I love that for stamping. For a vintage look, it's really pretty and it comes out very, usually very clear. And so I'm just doing it the lazy way here, uh, just with my stamp and my fingers. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, let's pick it up. Cute. What does it have on there? It looks like I'm trying to see what it actually has on here. 
it looks like Christmas trees all Christmas trees snow coming down from the sky and it looks like a giant snowman <laughs> also I don't know here I'll show you maybe you can see in the camera too maybe I'll if it focuses enough I'm not sure if it'll focus on this but anyway it's right here and any more stamping okay so let's call that done for the moment I think everything's glued down good and I, and I like it here's my 8 December 8th okay so let's go backwards here and I'll show you what I added and then we'll be done for today so what did I add from yesterday I glued everything down I showed you this yesterday what I didn't glue it down so this is how I glued it down I did put the Christmas dinner here this here I added I don't know if I had these pieces out when during my video I may have and I glued those down there and I think it looks really pretty I did glue a little sticker under here because I bought these um, two from stickers from Dollar Tree and I think they're really pretty I was gonna put there's a lot of pretty ones and I just use this tiny one because I just thought it was cute just as a sample like I said I'm putting things that I've used this year kind of a sample of things I've used this year in here too to remind me of like oh I used those last year isn't that cool aren't those cool or whatever type of thing so that was yesterday here's uh, the day before which was Friday and uh, I, the only thing I added to this page was a little sticker right here. I would like to add some more here, but I wonder if, I don't think, I don't know if stamping would show up on this uh, burgundy paper, so I'm not going to put any stamping there, but I'm going to think about other, putting something else right here. But as I clean up, I'm going to uh, keep that in the back of my mind uh, to, you know, maybe find something that will go right here. It kind of needs to match. I would like it to match this page. It's got blue, the blue here and some burgundies and some kind of a, a oh, let's call it avocado green kind of color. So something to go with that. It does have red up here. So we'll see. We'll see what I find when I clean up my desk. And then uh, this is the day before. Uh, I haven't added anything since. Oh, I did add these little star stickers right here that was from the 2006 stickers so I added those trying to use up those stickers this page I added quite a bit this was the snowman from uh, December 4th day number four I added all of these stickers they look so cute on here too all these little stickers right here I added and there's some more all these little stars I just added like clusters of stars around the snowman because he looked kind of bare and so they're from the 2005 stickers. I put a sticker right here too next to the little kind of label that I have here. So that sticker and these little star stickers and the little holly berry here. And then I had added a day, the day number here. I had the date up here, but I hadn't added the day, the four. So this is my four for, you know, the four, December 4th. So, uh, and let's see, what did I, let me make sure I have added, so I've got Sunday, so I put Saturday right here, I wrote the date right, the day right there, I put Friday right there, so this would be Thursday, I didn't write Thursday here, so let me write that, make sure I did everything I said I wanted to do, or whatever, Thursday, so this would be Wednesday, I didn't write Wednesday, on here and I wrote in red pen here so let me get my red these are glittered jet the glittered gel pens in case you haven't seen my other December dailies I got these glittered gel pens for last year from Dollar Tree I don't think they have them this year but maybe yours does but mine doesn't have them this year so this was Thursday this was Wednesday I'm gonna write it right here Wednesday <laughs> Wednesday okay so Thursday Wednesday uh, this was Tuesday I've got, uh, where is my date on Tuesday? Oh, I wrote it inside here, right here, 12-3. I have my three here, and I haven't written, so this was Wednesday, this was Tuesday. I'm going to write Tuesday somewhere. Let's see, maybe I'll write it. What is going on here? Okay, so I'm going to write Tuesday, 
possibly, well, I wrote with green here. So let me write with green. I think I'll write it down here. Tuesday. Okay. That's Tuesday. So this, this right here was Monday. I already wrote Monday on there. And this is my number two right here. So, and then here's one. So this was a Monday. And I wrote Monday. So then this December 1st was uh, was Sunday. So let me get, I wrote gold in gold that day. Let me get my gold. Let's see where I want to write Monday. Somewhere where you can see it. I'm going to put it right down here, I think. Monday. I mean Sunday, well, Sunday, it's kind of hard to see that, uh, Sunday, it's kind of hard to see that, I might write it again somewhere because it's kind of hard to see that, it's kind of hard to see the gold, the gold, the gold, let me write it in green also because it's very hard to see that, I want to see, because I can see the date very clearly right there. So let me write, even though it's a different color, I want it, I want it visible. So Sunday, I'm going to write right here, and then you can see it <laughs> clearly. Okay, so we're caught up. Day one, day two, uh, three, you saw it, four, looks much better now, right? With more on it, five. I'm going to think about this area. Six, seven, and eight. We did a lot today. <laughs> There's a lot on there, but doesn't it look cute? I like it. And it's that ledger paper in the back. And I glued over my tuck spot a little bit, but I can tell, still tuck something in here if I want to. That's just in case. So I can still tuck in all of this area here. So, uh, this would be cute to write on, wouldn't it? If I use that as a journaling card, I could uh, write on the back and decorate the front. We'll see. So, okay, tomorrow, what I have right now as the page is this page from a cookie uh, cookbook. So, uh, we're going to see what we do on the cookie page tomorrow. That will be interesting. Something different, right? It's not a blank page, so it's going to be different. So, I will see you all tomorrow. Have a great night and uh, happy crafting. And I'll see you tomorrow.